In today's video, we're gonna be starting the process on trying to find out what is the best tire dressing for your vehicle. With an almost unending number of options for you guys, I wanted to just start testing four products at a time, one on each tire, and really just kind of trying to see you know, best appearance, best longevity. All right guys, so as I'm editing this video, I realized I go into a little bit more detail than maybe some of you want. So uh, if it's running a little bit long, everything's time coded down below so you can skip ahead as you need. I'll list it all out there so you guys can skip ahead. Now let's get back to it. Now for today's video, the four products I'm gonna be using are all available at your local Walmart. Now the reason I did that is because I wanted to do something really, really accessible for everyone. Everyone's got a Walmart. These products are available at the majority of them at least so uh, this would be a good starting place again we're going to be going through the whole gamut of different tire dressings but today's video like i said walmart so starting off number one is the cerakote rapid ceramic tire shine and protectant seats deep gloss black finish long lasting ceramic coating and non-greasy formula so that's number one Number two is going to be Meguiar's Hot Shine Tire Spray. This one actually states it's a, a blend of premium silicone polymers for a high gloss shine that lasts. Number three is going to be from Suds Lab. This is their T3 tire dressing. Um, I've used this a, a decent amount and just anecdotally just using it, I do like it. It's very similar to the products that I use in my professional detailing business. Um, how does it actually stack up side by side? That's why we're doing this test to really find out. But it does state, creates multiple finishes, satin gloss or a wet look, again, depending how you, how you apply it. Offers durable, long lasting shine, quick, easy application for use on tires, trim, plastic and rubber. So more of an all purpose product. Now for all of you that are fans of Suds Lab, yes, I know they have another tire dressing and we will probably get into that one down the road, but today's video, is using that one. Uh, and last but not least from number four on today's video is Adams Polishes Tire Shine. Uh, let's see here, it states, the uh, silica infused formula is guaranteed to last longer than conventional uh, dressings. Once dried, does not sling, and great for tall sidewalls and big tread blocks. So again, this one also, I've used it just anecdotally. I really, really like it. So let's go ahead and get started with the test. Number one thing that we have to do though is prep the tires properly so we get a fair bond across the board. And what we're gonna be using to do that is this guy here. Now there's a ton of products for this, uh, but again, this one's available uh, at your local Walmart. This is Suds Labs tire, total tire degreaser. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on, agitate the wheels, kind of pull out all the contamination uh, and previous protection that was on the tires. So we'll do that to prep everything and then we'll get to application. Okay guys, so starting off with the tire cleaning process, you wanna get all your stuff ready to go. Make sure you have your water source handy as well because you're gonna to wanna to rinse this off. So pressure washer, garden hose, whatever you wanna do. Uh, make sure that the surface of your rims is not hot, right? You don't wanna do this if, if you've been, if you were out driving, you wanna let them cool down. If they're in the direct sunlight, let them cool down. Um, so with the Suds Lab uh, Total Tire Degreaser, they actually state you can dilute this four to one. I'm for tires and rubber. I'm gonna use this straight out of the bottle um, because I think that's how most people are gonna use it, honestly, because that's how it comes, right? So I changed off the trigger spray on this. Um, I just have a more professional one on here, but we're just gonna spray it directly onto the tire let it dwell a little bit, and then we're gonna agitate it with the brush. Super, super simple, right? Um, because though, the reason you don't wanna do this while your rim is hot, is if this is hot, this can bake on there and we could potentially, there, there's always the potential of some um, kind of weird stuff going on. So just make sure to follow the directions and you'll be good. Now I made a video previously about tire browning and things like that. And why you don't always want to do this every time, why I don't recommend cleaning your wheels like this every time is because you can pull out some of the necessary ingredients that are in the tire that help to prolong the life of it and keep it soft and keep it from cracking. So keep that in mind. Yes, I'm going to be doing this every time with these wheels to remove the previous protection, but for everyday use, you don't have to do that. All right, time to rinse. And again, one of the things to note while you're rinsing this off, also rinse that, that wheel, right? You wanna make sure to get all this uh, product off of the wheel as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the other three tires. We're gonna dry them off, make sure it's all completely dry before we go into applying the product. All right guys, so for tire number one, as you can see, the surface is all clean and good to go. For the first one, we're going to be using the Rapid Ceramic Tire Shine from Cerakote. Now, I just watched the instructional video. It states to shake it up for one minute. So you just wanna make sure all the, um, the polymers and, and the ceramic is mixed and infused with the product so that you're getting a nice even distribution of the product. They actually show applying it directly to the applicator pad 
and then working in the areas. I'm sure that you can spray it, like if you have a heavy tread, you could potentially spray it in there and then work it in. But again, we're just gonna follow the directions exactly. Um, as you can see here on the trigger, there's a little safety thing, just pull that off and then we'll be able to spray. So I'm gonna continually shake it up a little bit more. I've been shaking it, but just to make sure, Again, they include this nice little hexagonal hexagon <laughs> applicator pad, which is nice. Uh, it's a nice hard foam on the back for your hand to hold onto, and then good little applicator there. So we're gonna go ahead and start this application process. They just state to spray it on there liberally, right? Get good coverage, apply it over. Uh, uh, everything, make, make sure it's all nice and evenly distributed. If you get it onto your wheel uh, uh, surface, then wipe that up, um, and then wait 24 hours before exposure to um, water. So guys, as they stay, we're going to apply it right to the sponge, to the applicator pad. Do this away from your vehicles because you don't want to spray this on there and then have overspray it on your paintwork. So I'm going to do this off camera really quickly. Spray it on nice and liberally. You do have to prime the uh, trigger a little bit, pull a couple times, then it come out, comes out nice and uh, good spray pattern. Okay, so there we go. It comes out a little bit white. Go ahead, going to go ahead and apply it to the tire. I personally like to do this inside edge first. Uh, just to kind of tuck the, the foam applicator pad in there, right? So we get nice coverage on that inside lip. And then I start working my way out. Now again, guys, these tires are relatively low profile. They're not, not you know, you don't have a huge sidewall here. So keep that in mind. So you're gonna go ahead and apply. It almost seems like it wants to start beating already. Like if you look through here, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it almost looks like it's repelling uh, the white. Um, so just interesting to note. Try and get nice even coverage here. Working it in nice and smooth. Again, I'm gonna go to that inside edge again just to get a final wipe down in there. Okay, so that's applied. We don't have any uh, excessive buildup or anything like that anywhere. One single coat is where we're leaving it. I have a little bit on the sidewall here, so I'm gonna grab a microfiber and just wipe that up. Okay guys, tire number two, we're gonna be using the Meguiar's Hot Shine Tire Spray. Now this one for the directions, there's two different directions, right? So number one is apply directly to the tire for a high gloss sheen, um, or apply with an applicator pad for a lower gloss. I guess let's do both, right? Just to, just to, now I will say, I'll do, I'll do on half spraying it directly on there and then rubbing it in versus this side, I will just rub in. Um, now, obviously if I sprayed it on here and left it to dry completely with no contact, that's gonna leave it a super high gloss. Um, one thing I wanna note is spraying directly on the tire is not my favorite way to do this. Now, when you have the higher tread tires, like the off-road tires and things like that, for sure. The re but, but the reason I don't like doing this is usually you're applying your tire dressing to a clean car, right? If you do this, you're gonna get overspray. It's gonna go onto the panel. So again, it's not my personal favorite, but um, I want to test these. Uh, you're also going to get on your your wheels face, but I want to test these um, the way they're advertised. So we're going to do it both both ways. Let me get it primed. Okay, here we go. As you can see, guys, already crazy amount of gloss with this product. Um, so it really depends on your preferences as well. I personally don't like a super high gloss tire. I typically like a more natural sheen that just looks really clean, dark, and a little bit of gloss to it, nothing crazy. So we applied it to my applicator pad. These are the ones I got from Timu, um, super cheap, just a basic microfiber applicator pad. So again, starting on that inside lip, okay? And then working my way out. And as you can see, we've got some excess stuff here in the treads, if you guys can see that, I don't know actually. Um, I'm just gonna flip this applicator pad over and just kind of tap it, it'll absorb those so we don't get any fling from that um, down the road. So let me go ahead and just do another wipe. All right, now, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll try and zoom in, but I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. The streaks are significant from where I sprayed, so I am going to wipe this out really quickly as well so that I don't have a bunch of streaks all over my tire and then the potential of uh, fling as well. So regardless though, guys, this product's getting a ton of gloss already. This side does have more than that side. Moving on to tire number four, we're going to be using uh, for this one, the Adams Polishes Tire Shine. This one, they actually uh, state um, to apply it with the sprayer on the heavy tread lock, again, for those off-road tires. And then after you do that, it says using it, uh, an applicator, um, even out the product of the face of the tire. So what we're gonna do, again, um, this one is silicon infused as well. 
I'm gonna shake it up a little bit, put it on the spray pattern. We're gonna be applying it just with, again, we'll do we'll do half and half, I guess, just to, just to be safe since they do state both. So here we go. Interesting, I remember this stuff being white, but I don't know if you guys can see that, it's coming out green, uh, which is, again, interesting. So again, we're gonna have to buff that in with the applicator, so I'm gonna apply some to the other applicator. This is a brand new one, guys. I have, I'm have i using multiple different mul uh, applicators so we're not cross-contaminating, right? Ooh, this stuff smells good. I like cucumber melon or something. Uh, so here we go, first edge, right? Then to the outer edge. Spread super nice, super easy. Again, smells good. And again, I, I talk about it all the time. I'm not, I don't condone smelling your chemicals, but I guess, I mean, if you're using them anyway, might as well have them smell good, right? So there we go. And now we're gonna go ahead and do the other side that was sprayed on directly. Again, I think the, why they tell you to do that is just for those larger tread marks um, or tread uh, tires so that you can get it into all the tight spots as needed. All right, guys, and last but not least, the Suds Lab T3 tire and trim dressing. Again, this one also states that you can either uh, apply directly onto t dry tires, trim, or vinyl with the foam applicator pad or mist using a sprayer. So, again, we're going to do both. We'll spray this side um, and then applicator on the other side. So we have it in the spray pattern. I'm just going to test it. Okay, good to go. Here we go. Goes on white. Okay. And take nice fresh clean side of this applicator pad again apply the product onto here i like to get the edge a little bit more as well so, so i can get that inside lip here we go also just spreads incredibly easily now this product does state a few different dilution ratios for desired gloss um so again this one smells pretty good as well the atom smells better but this one smells pretty good as well uh, let me tap this out this one seems to go on a little bit thicker too. Very, very easy to apply still. Very easy to um, spread around, but a little bit thicker. So um, as you can see, it's stuck in the treads a little bit more. I have to spend a little more time to get that out. So just something to note. We're gonna go ahead and go onto the side now where we did the uh, direct application. Same thing, work it into this edge. All good to go. And then we'll do a final wipe down all the way around. And again, guys, the, uh, sorry, we were talking about the dilution ratios for this product. So let me go ahead and read that to you really quickly. Let me just do a final, nice, consistent pass here. So we get a nice, even finish. Okay. So this one states, uh, for high gloss, use full strength for matte finish, dilute four to one for trim, use full strength and interior plastics dilute four to one. So interesting. I didn't even realize that you could use this on interiors as well. So that's nice. Uh, let me go ahead and wipe the wheel out and then we'll be good to go. All right, guys, I don't know if you could tell by my face, but it's quite a hot day out here today. So uh, I'm gonna let all of these sit for about 30 minutes. Obviously the one that went on first got to sit a little bit longer. Uh, so I'm just gonna give 30 minutes so it should be blended out. Everything's gonna have a chance to absorb in and all that kind of good stuff. And then we'll come and revisit it and look at the initial impressions of how they look, any streaking, anything like that, uh, at just after initial application. Alrighty guys, so it's been 30 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and film this on my phone so I can get up nice and close for you. So here we go. Alrighty guys, tire number one again is the Cerakotes Rapid Ceramic Tire Shine. Uh, as you can see, you can see a, a slight pass, right? A sl just from where, actually, you know what? I was gonna say that's from the application, but that might be from the brush uh, when I initially cleaned it. Um, but overall, not the shiniest, but insanely, original looking with a nice deep color and a slight sheen to it really really natural looking it looks fantastic um so i i really really like that again it's just the smallest bottle that we have here but the product goes a long way uh so um we'll talk about the price breakdowns too um but again looks really really good really nice even consistent finish all the way around uh up second is going to be around on this tire and this was the mcguire's hot shine tire spray and uh a little more gloss than the other well, i don't know it's a little blotchy and again so you can see in here a little blotchy um again that could be from the preparation guys if it's not uh, but i still want a tire dressing that's going to blend in really well um all these tires were prepped the same way so 
Um, a little bit of a blotchy con consistency there. And honestly, not as shiny as I expected it to be. I've used this stuff in the past in like just a spray on a situation and let it dry. And it's incredibly glossy in this situation uh, after wiping it down. It's not as much, but it's not bad. Uh, it has a good amount of gloss to it. Um, well, I take that back. It's got a good amount of sheen to it, not a ton of gloss, except for in the blotchy spots. But the tire looks good, nice and dark. Um, but again, just from here, you can see it's a little bit blotchy. Moving on from there, we're going to go to the Adams Tire Shine. Best smelling of the group here. And a significant amount of gloss, guys. If you remember, I sprayed directly on one half and then just applied with a microfiber applicator on the other side. No difference, really, because I did buff it out afterwards. Um, again, also a little bit blotchy right? But not bad. Uh, just a little bit blotchy. And if you want a higher gloss, man, this looks fantastic. It looks, um, it, it, if you're looking for that, then this could be a good choice. Uh, last up, let's go ahead and move on to the um, Suds Lab tire and trim dressing. And very, very similar results to the Atoms. Like almost, I mean, a, a little bit blotchy, higher higher sheen to it again this one does state if you want a more natural finish you can dilute four to one um so keep that in mind but man i would say between the atoms and the suds lab i don't know man like if i didn't know i would think that there was the same product on there it looks very very similar so um again let's look at the cerakote for me, guys, so far after initial application, the Cerakote's the winner here. But again, we're going to go for uh, a drive. We're going to test all that kind of stuff to test the longevity because that's really the main thing with this. They're, they're claiming that it's a long-lasting tire shine. So we're going to see. But man, initial application, super consistent all the way around. Looks really, really good. So in order to test the longevity of these products, guys, time is a factor, right? We could wait a week. We could wait a month. But if the car doesn't get driven, then who cares, right? So how we're going to gauge this is more so by miles driven. So after I'm going to drive this thing for 100 miles, we'll reinspect. Um, at that point, we will. I have dirt on my lot uh, on like on my property over here. We'll drive through that to test the repellency of the products um, or attraction, right? Sometimes with the silicone base, it wants to attract that dirt. So. Um, there's that as well. And then we will also uh, test uh, washing it just with the pH neutral soap and see if that removes it, breaks it down, all that kind of good stuff, and then go on from there uh, at that point. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Um, I'm filming this, but I will drive this thing 100 miles, and that will be in this video. Um, so here we go. All righty, guys, here we go. It has been three days. I've driven about 130 miles. Uh, so let's just go ahead and inspect the tires in their current state. And... I want this to be sort of interactive, guys. So please comment down below which ones do you think look best. Um, and then also which ones you want to see in upcoming videos. What other tire dressings do you want to see in upcoming videos? We'll basically do four on each uh, video. And then whatever the winner is of that video, we'll go on to, you know, and then we'll compete them all just like a bracket system. So um, but anyways, number one, the Cerakote. For me, this still looks super consistent. Again, not super dark, just a very or, or super shiny, just a very natural uh, new tire look. So again, um, if you're looking for the darkest or shiniest, this is probably not it. But if you want a really consistent, if you like that natural look, man, it looks great. I think so. Uh, that's the first one. Going over to the Meguiar's Hot Shine, right? This stuff. Uh, again, not as shiny as I thought it would be again you can for sure if you live it on there thicker for sure but i did do that final wipe down um so take that for what it is but even with that it is a little bit blotchy to me again it just seems to absorb a little bit differently uh, in different spots now every tire is going to be different as well these are you know continental what are these uh sport pluses uh what are they extreme contact sport plus so um very grippy so the the each tire, you know, the rubber could be a little stiffer and all that kind of good stuff. So, um, but there's the hot rims. Then we'll go around to the, this was Adam's tire shine. And we have way more gloss than the other ones. Again, a little bit blotchy, but not bad at all. Um, again, that could be from my preparation, even though all of them were prepped the same. I think this is looking really, really good if you want a little bit more gloss. So that one's looking good. And then last but not least, we have the uh suds lab and i gotta say for me 
if, again, if I didn't know the difference, I would think that these two products, um, it was the same product on the wheels. They both look very, very similar. Slight blood, bit of blotchiness, not terrible, and more gloss than the Cerakote. The Cerakote though, like I said, super, super consistent all the way around and a very natural look. The Suds Lab and the Atoms on the other side, a bit more gloss. And then the Meguiar's for me would be the least appealing in this uh, out of these four, but still not a bad choice. Now guys, as I said, this is gonna be a whole series of trying to find the best options for tire dressings. Um, and that is gonna be subjective, obviously, if you like a flatter finish, you like a glossier finish, all of that kind of stuff. But we're gonna go through all this. I'm gonna end this one here. I didn't drive it through the dirt yet. I will, uh, we actually have some tree trimmers out right now. so. Um, I can't get over to my dirt, so uh, I'll do that in an updated video because um, th these dressings are going to stay on this car. I'll, I'll move on to another car to test more. Um, but keep it interactive, guys. Please let me know what you else you want to see. If, if you don't think I tested this well enough, I'll be able to make adjustments um, throughout. So tell me what you want to see. Tell me what dressings you want to see. Let me know which one you think is looking best so far. That's it for today's video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to like the video. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on that notification bell. We'll see you on the next one.